Size here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to use your phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot completely for free. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you guys don't know what a Wi-Fi hotspot is, real short and easy, it allows you to use your phone's mobile data connection uh, and use it to allow other devices to connect through your device to the internet so you can use like your iPod uh, when you're traveling somewhere so uh, this one thing I want to go over there is an application I'm gonna show you called FoxFi now this isn't the main application of this uh, video but it is an option now with FoxFi it's free you can use it for the hotspot it's very good but it isn't supported on some devices so uh, first, if you're on, I believe, Sprint and Verizon, they blocked Fox 5 from the Play Store. So, I'll show you how to get it. If you just go into your browser, and you search Fox 5, zoom in, here you can see that, right here, it's from the Play Store. If it's blocked through your carrier, I don't know if it'll let you download through the Play Store. If not, you can go from Fox 5 right there, Fox 5 installer. So, uh, if you want to install it, you have to go to the installer um, to check if it's compatible to your device. Device, just go to foxfi.com and then click check. And here it'll have a list of the carriers and all the devices that are supported and not supported. Now, if you go to my device, which is the Samsung Galaxy S3 from Sprint, you will see that it's not supported. So, if your device is supported, all you have to do is go to here the FoxFi installer click it and then uh, it'll have you download the APK just like this you'll click this it'll have you download it and then when you download it you can just go here click on it and then click install and it will install on your device now since it's not compatible with mine though I am not going to install it and if it's not compatible what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to FoxFi website and click on um, right here you're gonna click on to install PDA net plus now this app is compatible with every single cell phone every single one so you're just gonna click right here and I think it's better to get PDA net plus um, from the first place that way you know Foxfy doesn't become incompatible for any reason or anything like that so here as you can see it says right here if you have Sprint and your carrier has delisted PDA Net Plus since it avoids their tether plan, you have to either blah blah blah. Because it is on the Play Store, but again, Sprint may have blocked it. Now, you can go here, it'll say download uh, the link to your computer, or you can install it straight from your phone, which is what I'm doing. Again, under security, make sure you have unknown sources checked. Then you can just tap here. It'll download the PDA Net file. You can click OK. And then up in your notification center, you can just click on it. And then it, I already have it installed. I'll reinstall it for you guys. Here's all the permissions, PDA Net Plus. And then you can just click on install. Then once it's done installing, you can open it up. And now I will show you guys exactly how to use it. Now when you open PDA Net Plus, you'll come to this uh, app, <laughs> obviously. But there'll be a couple different options. Now the first one I'm going to show you is activate Wi-Fi hotspot now under this you can change the network name which I'm just under the default Fox 561 and you can set a password so now this is just a straight-up Wi-Fi hotspot it may uh, or may not work I believe it will work um, I think this is compatible with all devices but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try it out uh, you guys will have to try it out as well so as you can see it says starting hotspot one two and boom now if you go up in the notification center you'll see that there's two two notifications saying that a hotspot is activated now the second one is from FoxFi or you know net um, PDA net plus it's no big deal the second one was from Sprint and it just went away because it said you know error you know because it's not activated on my plan but as you can see FoxFi is still there now you will not get charged for this you just it, you will not it's been tested um, so yeah you will not get charged. Now, if I go onto my iPod, you'll see right there, Fox 5 is Fox 561. If I click on it, it does not request a password because, you know, I'm not, I don't have a password set. So if you want to set a password, you can just click on here and then you can just enter the password and then click OK. Also, you can change the network name just by clicking on it and then editing it to whatever.
Though I am having a slight problem with the uh, Wi-Fi hotspot because, I, like I showed you, I have no service. All right, guys. So right now I'm editing the video, and I realized why the Wi-Fi tether was not working. If you guys look in the video, you'll see that under the Wi-Fi tether it says Fox Fi in the version, even though it is on PDA Net Plus. Now, if you guys realize this, uh, my device was not compatible with Fox Fi. So since PDA Net uses the same Fox Fi technology, it will not be compatible. But the features of PDA Net with the Bluetooth tether and the USB tether are compatible on all devices. So if your device is like mine and under the Foxify website says it's not compatible, you cannot use the Wi-Fi tether under PDA Net, but you can use the Bluetooth and USB tether for free Wi-Fi connection. Now let's go ahead and go on to the next options I'm going to show you guys. If you go under activate USB tether, what this does is it allows you to plug in your phone uh, through the charging port to your uh, USB in your computer and use your Wi-Fi through that. Now to use that, you first must download, which if you just click here, it'll tell you, um, it says please click the PDA net tray icon from your computer to connect. So if you go to this uh, URL, pdanet.co slash a, you can install your the PDA PDA net wow desktop client and that allows you to connect through USB tether now if you want to go through Bluetooth there's a couple different things you need to know if you're going to be doing it from Android device to Android device you need to go into the market on the device that you're going to want to connect to so here you need to download PDA net tablet new now it works on cell phones as well not just tablets Basically what it allows you to do is pick up uh, signals from PDA Net through Bluetooth and it allows you to connect like that so you can pick up the connection through Bluetooth, not Wi-Fi, that way it's a direct connection. So you must have that downloaded and use that uh, for the Bluetooth option. Now if you're going to do Bluetooth from an Android device to an Apple device, you need to go on to Cydia, your must be jailbroken, and download Blue Ever, it's B L U E V E R, I believe, with V R, yeah, something like that. Bluever, and you must download that, and then you can use it, uh, just open it, and it'll allow you to connect through uh, Bluetooth. And then, computer, uh, you do, I believe, have to download the client as well, as long as your blue, uh, computer does have Bluetooth options. So, that's basically everything. You can change the network name, password, everything like that. Full version. I'm not sure how much the limit is. I haven't noticed at all. Um, sorry, I could not show you guys. I just have no service. But if you guys want to get free Wi-Fi hotspots straight from your phone, you guys got to check this out. FoxFi and PDA Net Plus compatible with every single cell phone there is. Again, if you guys would like to see a tutorial for Apple devices, please let me know. Links will be down in the description box below to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, add me on Google+, as well as to my website. Thank you very much. See you next video. And please subscribe for more app reviews, tutorials, vlogs, and more.